My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have a rare special car right here. It's a 1968 Hearst Oldsmobile, one of 515 made. Its numbers matching. It's a really nice, rare car. Got a neat story behind the Hearst Olds, which I'll tell you about. I actually flew down to Georgia, went up way up into the mountains, no cell phone service. There's a pole barn building that you go inside and it has about 50 of the most beautiful cars, neon lights, uh, personal collection. I bought eight of his cars. This is one of them. Uh, the others are posted on our website as well. Uh, but we've got a really nice rare piece here. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the specs, study the pictures. That's where you find price tags on all of the cars uh, and finance uh, payments as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me and let's go for a spin. I'm holding a booklet here. Uh, it has some neat information about the Hearst Olds, but right on the cover is Doc Watson. Uh, he was a gentleman that was given credit for even coming up with the Hearst Oldsmobile. He was an engineer uh, for GM, very involved in a lot of the muscle cars, and uh, he uh, got together with Hearst, and because of him, uh, the Hearst Olds uh, even exist today. He also signed the dash on the car. So, uh, so this car is listed in the registry. It was restored back around uh, 1999, so it's like 23-year-old restoration. The paperwork is here for that. Uh, just miscellaneous literature. It's been at different car shows. We do have uh, the build sheet. Uh, believe it or not, there's just a few codes on here, but it does say it, it was a 442. That's what these started with, with black bucket seat interior. Um, so some interesting stuff, some previous owners' names and numbers, some of the car's history uh, will go with it. I think the Hearst Souls are really cool. I've always liked them. Uh, you know, Shelby gets so much attention. I think these should be right up there with them. Uh, Hearst was a big name in the muscle car business back then, making the shifters uh, <clears throat> and performance parts. So Oldsmobile, or GM, had a policy not to put anything bigger than a 400 cubic inch uh, motor in a car this size. So Hearst Olds thought of, let's take the 455 Tornado motor, uh, hot rod it up a little bit, and we'll stuff it in there, and uh, we have the Hearst Olds mobile. So supposedly they all left the assembly line without a motor in them. That's according to regulations, but technically they actually drove out of there. The 455s were put in at Oldsmobiles, which was against regulation, uh, but that's how they did it. Then the cars got shipped off to the Hearst uh, company where they got the paint scheme, uh, they got wood grain on the dash, uh, a few other miscellaneous things. Uh, so that's a little of the brief history behind the 68 Hearst Oldsmobile. It seems like a good solid car. Underneath, I believe, is the original undercoat. All solid, clean floors. Uh, the chassis, the frame, all that looks really good. It's got a nice dual exhaust. You look up at the motor, it's spotless. The motor from the bottom looks fresh. Flywheel cover looks new. Starter is clean. Uh, it has the correct Turbo 400 automatic. The tag is riveted right to the side, the OW, that's the correct code for one of these cars, and it's dated 1968. Uh, in back, it has a 390 Posi uh, rear end. Um, it has the rally uh, suspension, so it has sway bars front and back and boxed rear control arms. Uh, they have disc brakes up in the front, uh, drum in the back, uh, so underneath the car, not off frame restored, but it looks like it's proper and clean. Uh, the body is really excellent. The body and paint, uh, probably the nicest uh, part of this car. Um, looking across the hood and the fenders, absolutely 
laser beam straight. I don't see a ripple, a dent, a problem. The hood fits square and flush. The lines are all nice. Uh, that's outstanding. Looks like there's a little, I think that rubs off, yeah. Looking down the side, same thing, absolutely straight. All these body lines are right on, they're not wavy, they're distorted, the gaps are absolutely square. This is spot on, beautiful body. Door shuts like new, look at the windows line up, the roof is pristine. This can be a problem area right here, I don't see any issues. This is all outstanding and this paint's over 20 years old. This is amazing. Uh, the black is literally a mirror. You could read uh, the phone book in the reflection. This, this is a mirror, fits nice and square. So uh, I was the Herstals only came Peruvian silver. It's code ZZ on the uh, trim tag. And uh, that tells you it's a Hearst. And then they had the black trim and you probably can't see, but it's broken up with a white uh, pinstripe. And it's along the bottom as well. Uh, the rear windows are good original, got a few light scratches, the stainless trim, all these moldings are all very nice. I can't say they're a 10 because there's little scuffs or abrasions, but they're very nice. The mirror, the door handle was replaced, uh, the rubber's soft, uh, windshield's been replaced, I'm sure. These grills look like they're new. Has the Herstal's emblems on the fenders. Way down here, it has the air ducts. That's a ram air. It's forced in through those ducts up into the air cleaner. We'll open this up and show you later. Uh, but the bumper, the bezels, the rubber grommets here, all that's in really nice shape. They all come with these 14-inch uh, uh, rally wheels. The trim is all real nice. This one has redline reproduction tires. Uh, it has the correct antenna. Back here. Uh, they come with the exhaust coming through the bumper. You call it a trumpet exhaust tips. Bumpers re-chrome. Tail lights are nice. The Hearst Olds emblem is sparkling. This Oldsmobile emblem a lot of times is pitted, uh, but that's in really nice shape. So the outside of the car is excellent. Let's open it up, see what the inside looks like. Yeah, I could literally shave in the reflection of this paint. It's amazing. Nice, clean trunk, solid metal, the neatly spatter painted. You got the mat, you got a matching fifth wheel with a polyglass uh, white letter tire for a spare. I don't see a jack, uh, but it's all painted real nice under the lid and the jam. The weather strip is replaced. It's a nice, clean trunk. You know, to have a body and paint look this good 23 years after it's painted, that's very impressive. Door jams are clean. The bottom of the door edges are mint. The door panel uh, also looks mint. The backing plate on the armrest uh, is not sparkling chrome. It's a little tarnished. That must be original. The dash pad is in really nice shape. And it does have the rally pack gauges. And then it has the tick tock tachometer, uh, the tachometer with the clock in the middle. Also has an AM FM radio, which does turn on and play. And this is Doc Watson's signature. And only the Hearst Souls got this wood trim. It has the Hearst emblem, of course, but this is actual wood. And then the Hearst Souls also has the Hearst dual gate shifter with this little mini console. You wouldn't get that in any other 442 or Oldsmobile. Uh, glove box liner, it's real good. You got a nice wood grain deluxe steering wheel. Uh, down on the floor, the carpets are real good. Uh, we could have vacuumed it before we videoed it. It has reproduction Oldsmobile mats. The seats uh, are in excellent shape. The back seat is real nice. It has all the seat belts. The rear tray, the mesh is original and excellent. The headliner is mint except for one tear. Yeah, I'd probably put a little piece of black tape on there and 
be done with it. The rest, because it fits so nice. Uh, it has a vanity mirror. It actually says Oldsmobile on it. So that was a factory option. So very good interior. Not brand new, but very good. So this is the VIN number matching 455 motor. Uh, they made a few of these cars with air conditioning. The non-air cars were actually higher performance. Uh, this has the D heads, it's the bigger valves. Um, I think a little hotter cam. Uh, it came with the 390 rear end instead of a 323. Uh, so yeah, the air conditioned cars, they made about 135 of them, but this one's got more muscle. Uh, but it is the number match motor um, yeah, versus the Toronado engine. They did put a hotter cam and did a few things to it. And this is part of that Ram Air we were talking about. It's forced into the air cleaner down through the motor. The motor is painted the correct red color. And of course, the inner fenders are red. They all came that way. Uh, the wiper motor looks new. It has power steering, power brakes. It has a Delco battery topper, so it looks authentic. It has a battery disconnect. Uh, the shroud looks good. It has a washer bottle hooked up. It has new insulation under the hood. The metal is really nice. So this is not a number one body off frame concourse car, but it is a very good uh, car ready to go to any car show and be proud of it. And you'll have one of 515 cars that were made. Trunk shuts real nice. That other door shut like new. Let's see what this one does. Thunk shuts like new. The body is amazing. There is not another one out there that has better body and paint. That I'll tell you. So a very uh, interesting car. I think great investment potential. I think they have a really uh, interesting history. Uh, the way they went around the the red tape of putting in a 455 um just just very cool read up on it you know how the hearse started and, and what it was all about and again signed by doc watson so i gave you my impression go to volocars.com that's where you can read all the specs study the pictures talk to the salesman they'll answer your questions uh best they can they can help with financing they can help deliver it to your door volocars.com I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And make sure you hit that bell icon uh, so you can be notified as the new ones are being posted. Thanks for watching. <coughs>